So let's say you are working as an IT help desk engineer and a user called you to say that um, his outlook is not responding or he or she is having actual issues issues meet with office and they are not able to open office or office is very very slow or office keeps on freezing. So I'm going to show you how to resolve outlook or office issue. So here we have Outlook on this win Windows 10 device and if I go to my start menu you can see that Office is actually installed on this device that has Office 365. So let me just go to Programs and Future. So in Programs and Future you can see we have the Microsoft 365 apps for Enterprise which is installed on this device. So if I click on the Microsoft 365 apps you can see we have the option called Uninstall or Change. So when do you actually use the change to resolve Office 365 or Microsoft 365 issues? You can actually use these issues if for example the user is receiving error message when he tries to open an Office apps like Outlook Excel or Word, he receiving, he's receiving an error message all the time or the office is very very slow, it keeps on freezing. So sometimes we can actually use the, under the uh, programs and future, we can actually use the change by clicking change. So it's going to give us two options to actually resolve um, office. So one, we can actually do a quick repair or we can actually do an online repair. So by doing by doing an online repair, you can see it says it fixes all issues, but it takes a it a little longer and requires an internet connection throughout. So what is going to happen is this: if you do a quick repair, so this is going to fix most issues quickly without the need of an internet connection. It's going to use your office internally to actually repair itself. But if you do an online repair, it's going to go through the internet and go to Microsoft and download all the required Office packet again to fix Microsoft Office. But all your files, if you have files like Excel files, Word documents, PowerPoint, all your files will still be retained. You are not going to lose any of your file. So let's just try to do a quick repair. What you can just do is select the quick repair and then click repair. So it says ready to start a quick repair. This should, this should not take you very long, but you won't be able to use Office programs until we are done. So you can actually just close any Office. For example, I have Outlook open. I can, you can just close that, and then we can now just do a repair. You can see since we are repairing your Office programs and future, this should not take long. So it says save your work before continue. Outlook is still trying to close. We can just click continue. And this is going to take some time to re actually repair Microsoft Office 365. This is not only going to repair Outlook, but it's going to repair your Microsoft 365. So if you have an issue with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you can use this method to actually repair Outlook and that problem will be solved. So let's just wait for some seconds for Office to get repaired and then we will come back again. So as you can see, it says done repairing. So we have finished repairing your office programs and future. You can now close this window and use your programs again. So what we can do is to close office, close that windows, and then go again to our start menu and then try to open any office like Word, Excel, or PowerPoint and try to see if your problem is actually resolved or or not. So if you are still receiving error message, you can do actually an on online repair. And if that did not solve the problem, you can actually uninstall Office and then reinstall it again. Or you can actually try to do some reset because they say as, as an IT, let's say Google is your friend. You can actually try, if you are receiving a specific error message, what you can also do is to go to Google and try to Google that specific error message you are receiving. Definitely someone has already had that problem in the past and they can actually give a detailed explanation of how they actually fix that problem themselves so you can actually apply the same resolution to that user's computer.